How you doing? My name is Billy King and I'm here with Universal Nissan to show you the brand new 2018 Nissan Altima. Now check this out. We have this in the ruby red. This thing is gorgeous. Look at these uh, chrome accented headlights right here. The nice thing about them is they're smoky to give that midnight edition look but yet it's still a sporty look because this is actually your SR. So the great thing about this vehicle is I'm going to start right under the hood. I'm going to show you exactly what makes the Altima tick right here. Check this out. You have your 2.5 liter engine. It's going to give you 179 horsepower, which is great. Gives you some nice pickup, great gas mileage for a four cylinder. So you got that nice pickup right here. Check this out. Ugh. Battery saver function right there. That's going to go ahead and give you that extra juice you need because it's not going to go ahead and allow you to waste your battery. If you leave a door open and you leave some lights on, this is actually going to go ahead and recognize that and within like 15 minutes it'll shut it off for you. So you never come out to that dreaded dead battery. Now the other nice thing is inside of your engine you have a stainless steel timing chain. Don't let other people go ahead and tell you they have the, uh, the timing chain in there. This is actually stainless steel so it's going to prevent against any rust and damage. It'll be with you for the life of your vehicle. The other nice thing is that one thing I always tell people to look at is the distance from your bumper to the radiator. They actually move things a little bit out more so that if you are in a light front end collision, it's going to go ahead and protect you a little bit more against those costly repairs. You have your uh, under engine uh, protection here in case of any heat. It's going to go ahead and uh, keep your engine cool and it's going to go ahead and protect from the sun here in Florida. Listen to that smooth sound. Now, we have the aggressive V-Motion grill here, right by your Nissan logo. And here we have Titan, just hanging out with me. Anyway, coming around the side here, we have the 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels, which are gorgeously styled with that other smoky uh, chrome look. So check this out. Inside here, I've got plenty of gadgets to show you. This has your Primatex material for your seats. It's gonna go ahead and protect you against anybody damaging it or getting anything spilled on it. You have your uh, eight-way positioning seat with lumbar control, plus you have paddle shifters on the steering wheel, Bluetooth for your music and all of your phone calls, so you can go ahead and uh, rest easy that you're not gonna have to stop and look at your phone and possibly collide with anybody because this also has your forward emergency braking. Brand new for this year, they included it. So you have forward emergency braking. This is also one of the biggest back seats we have. Check out all the space and leg room you have there. A lot of room and if you look at the seats you have the nice blue appointed uh, stitching throughout so it keeps up with that nice interior look that you have and that sporty appearance coming around the side you have the uh, tail lights that are elongated around the side to let drivers know on any angle what you're doing you have your sport spoiler and then right back here there's your uh, backup camera which is going to go ahead and be right in the center there give you equal distance on both sides now one cool thing the seats drop down with these two toggles right here. All you have to do is pull and drop them down from the inside, and then you have all that space. So when you go to Ikea, you could actually get that feng shui thing, whatever it is, all the way through. SR, special edition. Tail lights are actually a little bit darker this year as well. They give that sporty appearance all the way around. The chrome accents really bring the color out. Then right here, this little button, one push, locks this or actually opens this when the key is nearby two will open all the doors three locks it all back up now come on inside have a seat we're going to take it on a test drive hey i'm back it's me billy i'm going to go ahead and show you the inside of your 2018 nissan ultima now check this out this display screen is seven inches great thing about it is you already have navigation into it and this is going to be in your 2018 nissan ultima sr so as you see already on the screen here it's got your navigation once it's connected you can actually go ahead and do the Apple CarPlay so if you wanted to use your phone's navigation instead you just go ahead and push on the Apple CarPlay pulls up your phone just like it would be on uh, you know your screen there so you see all your applications you see your maps you see your music there's even extra pages so that you can go ahead and store any other apps that work with the system so if you want to use your music or anything like that you have all of it right here with the touch of a button now, opening up the maps is easy. It pulls it up straight from your phone. So the good thing about that is it's always constantly updated, a higher update than uh, you know most cars. So it's actually quicker and going to give you more response as far as where you're going. If you ever want to go back, it's just like your iPhone. You just push the home button, takes you right back. 
when you're working with the phone, it's got all your contacts and everything already in there. And look at that, Siri. I have mine set to British because that's classy. Now, you can go ahead and just say who you want to call. Anybody that's in your phone, all you have to do is name them how you have them already listed. So, you see, you can go ahead and uh, pick from your pre-selects or you could just say who you want to call. You could do that over here on the steering wheel as well. There's a button for that. But the cool thing, you can also go ahead and have your messages read to you. So say you get a text message while you're driving and the urge to take and look at your phone is there, you just push messages. While you're still driving, while you're looking ahead, you just push messages, messages right there. Messages and it'll read, you know, don't read it. One. I don't want you reading my phone. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to get going here. I'm going to show you how beautifully this drives. Now, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see on the screen over here, but the little car in front of us it shows your forward emergency braking on there's a little icon there that shows that that's new for this year this new model has the uh, forward emergency braking so that is on and set you don't have to worry about it if you're following behind somebody and they slam on their brakes unexpectedly and you're not paying attention your car is going to go ahead and stop for you so that you don't have to worry about that front end collision now that only works when you're going forward it doesn't work when you're reversing so don't think that that's on there now the cool thing also is when you're on your regular uh, display screen if you go ahead and use your uh, navigation from the uh, actual manufacturer you use this navigation it'll actually go ahead and show you your next turn on the screen in front of you so either way you look you know which turn you're going to be making so that you don't have to keep your eyes off the road for too long the other cool thing with the system is you've got points of interest so if you're looking for the airports that are nearby if you're looking for restaurants or ATMs all of that is right here and updated by Sirius XM all you have to do is make sure that your location is updated to the state and province you're in and that'll go ahead and pop up there. Now the cool thing about that is, say you roll into town, you don't know where you're at, you just push uh, ATM or gas station, whatever you're looking for, and it shows you the nearest ones. Then all you have to do is go ahead and select the one you want to go to and it'll start giving you directions to get there. Now as I talked about before, you have 179 horsepower, which is nice because it's such a light vehicle. When you hit the gas, it's going to feel like you're just getting up and going. So it's got nice power behind it. Plus on top of that, you want to go ahead and work in uh, the paddle shifters. You could shift manually. Not something I'm into. I don't do that because I would probably mess this car up. But it's there for you if you want to use it. It's an awesome feature to have. Plus on top of that, it gives you that more sport feel. Plus, one thing that I really like is these heated seats. So what I do is I blast the AC and then I put the heated seat on to go ahead and relax those muscles. Really nice. Now with these zero gravity seats, it's already a comfortable ride, but you also have lumbar support. So that's going to give you extra comfort on those long drives, which is really, really important. I will say that's one of the nicest features apart from anything else is that you have your lumbar support. Here we go. Now you hear that CVT transmission? That's smooth acceleration throughout, so you don't have to feel that shift shock every time you switch from gear to gear. So as you hit the gas and as you start picking up in speed, it's going to be one seamless uh, drive right there. Same thing with your braking. Braking is smooth. That's one thing Nissan is known for, is that they're going to go ahead and innovate and keep making the drive much better for you. One of the great things also is that this is your third generation CVT transmission. While other companies are just starting to roll out their CVTs or dabble in it, this is actually the third generation, so you're getting a lot more technology behind it and a lot more experience behind it. So you have a much more competent drive. Did I say there's a lot of traffic in Florida? Because there's a lot of traffic in Florida. Look at this. Here we go. Now, on your steering wheel, not only do you have all your controls for your music, but you have your volume right here. You can switch up what you're listening to right up here by source. So that'll scroll through everything that you have here. So if I wanted to go through Apple CarPlay, right now I've got Havana. Let's see if that plays. I gotta go back to my Apple CarPlay. Right there on Spotify. Boom. So you can control the volume right here. So you can turn that up if that's your jam. Lower it right there. It's got the nice display just like it would be on your phone. So I'm going to pause that. 
On the other side of your steering wheel here, you have your cruise control, which is going to be nice. It's right there at your fingertips. Plus, you could answer and receive phone calls right here, or you could just talk to Siri. So once you go ahead and press there, it activates it. And you could talk about the navigation, you could talk about the audio, whatever you want to go ahead and uh, control. It's real simple to go ahead and control it from there. Now in the Ultima, your uh, microphone is right up top here, so you just pick up your sound from there. So whenever you're speaking, even if you have the windows open, it's actually really, really good to go ahead and uh, talk towards the microphone. You're going to hear the, the music and everything and the uh, phone calls that you make come over the uh, stereo speakers. I believe we've covered a lot of your... Uh, any questions, anything uh, you guys want to know? leave them, like them, comment, comment, and I'll go ahead and try and answer as much as I can. If there's anything I left out, feel free to go ahead and mention that in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's going to be really important. And also turn on your notifications so you can hear all the new videos that pop up. Every week that that's updated, you'll get uh, notifications telling you what new vi videos are up there. Again, thanks a lot.